Welcome to Breakthrough Mitsubishi, my name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video of this 2015 Kia Sportage in a platinum spec all wheel drive. Now being the platinum it does come with a few added benefits and comfort features which we will touch on as we go through the car. However starting off at the front end, the first thing you do notice is that beautiful Kia badging right in the middle there with that nice gloss black um, tiger nose grille. You've also got the chrome finish around it so it breaks up the car quite nicely and adds a lot of detail and characteristic to the front end. You've also got the color match front parking sensors around the front of the car and if you come across to the headlight you've got this really nice big sleek design headlight so do cut across the side of the car. You've also got the projector globe on the side there for your headlights that is going to give you a really nice clear line of light as well as your daytime running light running under there that is um, that does add the added safety of extra visibility in the morning. Indicator light is in the um, inside the headlamp there and you've also got your fog lights fitted at the very bottom. Now just below the headlight this little panel here is to actually wash your headlights so if you are doing a bit of driving around off roads and you might pick up a bit of dirt you can wash your headlights to clear up that light again. Now coming over to the first alloy you have this really nice five spoke design that almost looks like a plate but you've got this really nice black grooves as uh, that go through the five spoke so it almost looks like a flower actually uh, does present really well and breaks up and ties in really nicely with the actual detail of the car. Now the the polished al aluminium itself does uh, look sorry it still presents really well and there's no marks of damage on the rim on the outer rim just if I'm trying to be a little bit picky but there's nothing on the outer rim and the gloss black in here still presents quite well and you've got plenty of tread remaining on these Goodyear tires. Now, as you come across the side you've got the chrome all-wheel drive badging just on the quarter panel there so people do know you are driving a all-wheel drive. Now you've got your color match rear, uh, sorry, color match side mirrors that does tie into the black of the car with the indicator lamp built in across the mirror with the, your chrome finished door handles and now this is a keyless entry car so just by pressing the button it does lock and unlock so if I press that again opening up the driver's side door being the platinum spec does come with these really nice leather seats all for driver passenger and the rear seats and you can see very nicely fine stitched design still presents quite well bolsters are still in very good condition and still very firm carpets present really well there's no tears or damage on the floor and you've got the scuff plates on the inner inner door frame um, to prevent any damage to the actual paintwork and I must say it still presents really well the actual door um, the door of the Kia presents quite well there's very minimal wear a little bit of dust here uh, comes off pretty easily and where people can get quite lazy when hopping out of the car and kick the door open there's, re there's really no marks on the door here so you can see the previous owner was quite careful getting in and out of the car when they were looking after it. Now one thing I will note is the car does come with a privacy glass on the back that doesn't actually provide any added UV protection it's just a dyed glass to add a bit of privacy but I do recommend you speak to us about the tint and glass coat options because again it's going to give you that added safety and protection from the sun and the glare as well as the paint protection that is going to give this beautiful black finish just that extra um, look to it that is going to make it really nice and clean and much easier to maintain. Coming over to the second alloy again great condition on the rim very minimal mark there if I'm being super picky but the outer rim still presents really well and you've got plenty of tread on these Goodyear tires. As you come across the back very signature Kia look on the back really nice big um, tail lights that do cut across the side of the car to provide that added braking uh, signaling for the other drivers on the road. You've got your Kia badging right in the middle as well as your Sportage Platinum in the chrome finish. You've also got your reflectors at the bottom and reverse parking lights obviously to provide that added um, signaling for the other drivers on the road. At the bottom here you've got your color mounted park, rear parking sensors mounted into the bar here and your rear view camera just on the right here. Tow bar fitted at the bottom, it is a genuine tow bar. You've also got your rear wiper blades and a high mounted brake light um, on the tailgate. Opening up the boot, you can see there is plenty of space in this car. Um, I will put this in here just to make it look a little bit nicer, but you can see how nicely the tailgate still presents. You've got your genuine Sportage mats in the back here. Plenty of space. It does also come with a cargo blind that is going to provide that added privacy in the back of the car if you're storing a few things. Um, you can also lift this up here and you can see you got your spare wheel just at the bottom there completely unused so you know that the car has been dribbled quite carefully you've got all your tools at the bottom there as well your tow tongue is inside the boot liner which we can take out for you if you wanted but it's just in the back there um, to keep it nice and safe now closing this up as you come across the passenger side of the car 
can see, again, the paintwork around this side still presents really well. It, considering it's black, you do have to be extra careful with the paintwork, but I must say that there's very minimal marks, very light scratches on this side, but considering what the car is, it's been looked after really well. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side of the car, so the safe side of the car in case you do have to pull over in case of an emergency. Coming over to the second, uh, sorry, third alloy on the passenger side, great condition on the rim. Generally, these are the sides that get damaged the most. Uh, very small mark there. It's not actually in the chrome itself, but a minor mark there. But however, the rim still presents very well and plenty of grip and uh, remaining on those tires. As you come across the passenger side, you can also got you got also the keyless entry from the passenger side and coming over to that fourth and final alloy great condition generally one that gets damaged the most not just a little bit of dirt presents exceptionally well so we've got four unmarked rims grew plenty of tread remaining on these goodyear tires the paintwork around the car is exceptional and the car just presents really well so what we'll do now is pop the hood and take a look inside take a look inside the engine bay of the sportage what we have here is kia's four cylinder two liter turbo diesel motor now, it is fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox it is going to make the ride really nice and smooth and comfortable this car itself comes with a five star anchor operating and six airbags so plenty and plenty of safety for the passenger just inside the car and this motor itself produces 135 kilowatts 392 newton meters of torque so plenty of torque and power with that tow tongue on the back it is going to tow anything that you will need now it is a diesel fuel tank with a 58 liter capacity and it does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers and an average fuel distance of about 806 kilometers off a full tank depending on how you're driving and whether you are towing taking a look inside the sportage i must say the car does present really well and you've got very easy access to all the controls inside the car so now starting off for the driver's side door do get this really nice leather stitched armrest very comfortable and it does have a very um, broken up pattern on the door card itself you've got all your power window controls with your driver's side being fully automatic up and down and the rest being your standard power windows above that you've got your central lock button and your window lock in case kids are playing around with the windows in the back seat above that are your power mirror toggles you do have a little button here to help tuck in the side mirrors they do tuck in quite nice Nice and neat and you've got your controls to adjust the actual power mirrors on the right side of the dash you've got a little control here that does um, control the illumination of the cluster as well as an active eco mode that is going to save you a little bit of extra fuel you've got your downhill descent and your um, stability control button just next to that now down here it does come with an electric brake kit already fitted to the car so again if you are using this for towing and traveling it's got everything you could possibly need it's got the tow bar it's got the electric brakes and all the comfortable features in the car on the right hand stock of the center column, uh, sorry, driving column, you've got your left and right indicator as well as your fog light controls and your headlights. Now, the headlights do have an auto mode, so they are dusk sensing headlights. You can just leave it in auto and the car's gonna decide when it actually needs to use it. On the left hand side are your wiper and washer controls for your front and rear. Again, they are automatic, so you can just leave it in auto. You've got rain, rain sensing wipers, so it's just gonna do everything for you. Very smart little car. Now on the steering wheel, very comfortable leather stitch steering wheel. You've got all your cruise control settings on the right hand side and your media controls on the left with your volume, mode and mute to flick through the different options. Below that, you've got two little buttons here on the third spoke, which is for your Bluetooth connectivity for your call and reject. Coming over to the center console itself, stop start button right in the right on the side there, most important button in the car. You've got a really nice touchscreen head unit that's very nice to use, and it does come with inbuilt navigation. So we are at 20 to 32 Kanga drive, as you can see. If I open up media, uh, sorry, that's when your phone is connected. You've got AM, FM radio, um, and you've got all your Bluetooth connectivity and um, route options for your navigation so very nice and easy head unit to use um, very comfortable to set up you've got your volume and your um, search uh, seek mode as well below that is your display for your climate controls so you've got dual climate control driver and passenger can have their own settings um, you've got fully functional with a really nice display right in the middle there very clear to use and you've got all the buttons there for it just below that you've got a little bit of storage if you want to keep some loose change some coins or maybe even the keys considering it's a keyless start car you've got your parking sensor button which you can turn on and off if they do get a bit annoying 12 volt socket auxiliary and a usb input for charging your phone as well as on the side here two heated seat controls so you've got a low and a high temperature but they're both heated so driver and passenger have heating which is good you've also got really nice leather stitched gear shifter very nice positioning as well quite comfortable to control if i put it into reverse you can see that really nice clear rear view camera with the rear bar just across the bottom there so quite 
nice and easy to read now if I bring it down to drive the car does come with the sports shift gearbox so you can flick through the gears manually yourself if you do want to add a bit of extra control to the car if you are going uphill need a bit of extra torque um, just next to that you've also got your four-wheel drive lock so again if you are going off-roading doing a bit of four-wheel drive you can lock it lock the diff just behind that you've got two cup holders really nice manual handbrake you've also got this really nice leather stitch center console armrest if I lift this up you've got a little tray in here for some storage as well as some uh, plenty of space below that for some added storage now if I get the camera person to pan up the car does come with a panoramic roof so the rear roof is just a uh, standard lining which you can just pull back and it has a really nice glass at the back there and if i slide this one back it does tuck into this uh, frame here and you can tilt it to allow for a bit of airflow and close it and also fully automatic so if i hold it down fully automatic functional sunroof so it is a great car to be cruising around in if i hold this one down it is going to close up for us again behind that you've got a compartment for your sunnies and if I drop this down you've got another little shade here for an extension now that's you can use that front on but it is going to block your side mirror but it is more so for this side protection for the glare that that can creep in and those weird awkward angles if I pull that up I must just say the car presents really really well the leather on the rear seats are still quite um, well maintained very good condition there's no wear or tear on it no fading no cracking the carpets look really really good there's no spills or stains that are obvious either um, so the previous owner has really done a good job in looking after this car and it has been very well maintained you've got um, baby seat mounting points on the rear seats as well for whatever car seats and very easy to drop those seats you can see the little levers on the right side of the headrest and left side which is going to drop the seats if needed now what we're going to do now is actually just hop outside and wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching the walk around video of this 2015 Kia Sportage Platinum in all-wheel drive. I hope this gave you a good example as to some of the condition on the outside and the features that does come in the Platinum spec. Now, if you did have any additional questions in regards to the car or wanted to test drive it or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. The number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go, this car does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan. What that offers is five years additional protection on 181 electrical and mechanical components of this car. It does also come with the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance. So if you are using this for traveling, it is gonna give you the assurance that you are kept nice and secure and you're not gonna be due for any unexpected costs. Now, as I mentioned before, please do take advantage of the glass coat and tint because in a black car, it is crucial that you protect the paint and maintain it and it can present exceptionally well if you do your due diligence. Now, if you did uh, have any additional questions, the number to dial is 99070555. Please check out our Google reviews. With over a thousand reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, just give us the assurance that you are dealing with the right people and the right kind of business. As I mentioned before, please do give us a call if you did have any additional questions. My name is Mason, and thank you so much for watching.